so but in ghana hospital is for the same hospital for rich that is the hospital for poor the same rich us the same hospital that rich people goes to that is the same hospital that poor people goes to and that is that is how hospital is supposed to be the same hospital that rich people goes to is the same hospital that poor people will go to now that you have hospital in nigeria that you have hospital for poor and you have hospital for rich it's not supposed to be so so talking hello family welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about why does nigerian youtuber can't stop talking about Ghanaian youtubers so now young boys in nigeria and young girls they travel to ghana look for a job or hustle look for a way to survive so i know that yes but a nigerian send ghana out of our country nigerian even make it back mock them that ghana must go ghana must go out of nigerian but now same nigerian travel to ghana to look for a job or a way to survive have you ever been to ghana before because if you travel to ghana before the the airport in ghana have you seen the airport in ghana it's so beautiful you can't compare the airport in ghana with the airport in nigeria i saw a post on them um, on facebook why when one girl posted a video Paula or so i can't remember the guest name she was talking about the um, toilet in the Nigerian airport and the toilet in the um, Ghana airport. She was talking about, she said in the video that a uh, Nigerian airport, you can't get tissue paper in the airport. Common tissue paper, you cannot get it in the airport. That if you need a tissue paper, you need to go and pay for a tissue paper that you want to use it to clean your board after you finish using the toilet. You need to pay extra. For a tissue paper so she showed the airport in ghana you see the airport in ghana she showed the video of airport in ghana you will see in the in the the airport in ghana she in the toilet you will see tissue paper hand sanitizer everything that you need to have in the toilet is there is there in the in the toilet in ghana but you can't see that in nigerian i don't know why so talking about the hospital in ghana you cannot compare the hospital in ghana with hospital in Nigeria because why I say you cannot compare the hospital in Nigeria now there is hospital for poor and hospital for rich and which is not supposed to be so there is hospital for poor and hospital for rich can you imagine that I saw something again in a Facebook that there is this hospital in Nigeria for poor to be precise for poor that uh, if you go to the hospital maybe rain is falling you need to put a bucket so that the rain will not fall on you to put a bucket so that the rain is falling or some hospital some poor hospital in nigeria for the poor in nigeria maybe you need to get a mosquito net or mosquito coil in the hospital which is not supposed to be so but in ghana hospital is for the same hospital for rich that is the hospital for poor the same rich the same hospital that rich people goes to that is the same hospital that poor people goes to and that is that is how hospital is supposed to be the same hospital that rich people goes to is the same hospital that poor people will go to now that you have hospital in nigeria now you have hospital for poor and you have hospital for rich it's not supposed to be so so talking about the electricity eh, in Canada, you see two four seven of lights everywhere two four seven you can walk around in the night there's light but not I'm sorry, I'm sorry to talk about Nigeria like this. Nigeria is my country. I love Nigeria, but we need to say the truth. But for in Nigeria now, you they have time, time for light. They will say so, so time you have little light in this street. And so, so so time you have light in this street, which is not supposed to be so. Which is not supposed to be so. You'll be waiting for your own time for light to come. Which is not supposed to be so. We're supposed to be having light two four seven. Are we talking about the road? Are we talking about the road? You will see good roads in Ghana. Maybe you're driving, you will see good road. But you can't compare it with our own road in Nigeria. Pause, hold, hold up and all that. If you're going to a place, you need to wake up very early so that you catch up with the place you're going to. Because maybe you will meet hold up. 
because why they is holding is because of those faults and bad roads. But in Ghana, every the road is so smooth. Everything is just good. It's just like a small London. It's just like a small London. And we call Nigeria a giant of Africa. I don't know if Nigeria is still a giant of Africa. I'm sorry. I don't know if Nigeria is still a giant of Africa. Are we talking about the food? Food are so cheap in Ghana. You can't compare Nigeria with Ghana in terms of food. And Nigeria, we have farmers, much farmers, but our food are expensive. You can't compare our food with with the, the Ghanaian food because they are so cheap. Then when I travel to Ghana, if you buy washi of, of three cities, you will eat it. As you will eat it, you can't even finish three cities washi. But you can't compare with Nigerian. You cannot compare it with Nigerian. I'm serious. Please, I'm sorry. Pardon me, but I, I need just I just need to say the truth. You can't compare it with Nigerian. I don't know. So, are we talking about the education? Are we talking about the education? You will see when I traveled to Ghana the last time, my friends that they are not that rich. As in, I don't know how to put it. They are just average. They are just living average because they are all in school. They are all in school. They are all going to school, university. They are all going to school. But in Nigeria, you can't just go to school like that. As in, you need to have money. You need to be rich because you, you like, I'm sorry, a poor man cannot just say, Cannot just send his, his child to school. An average man, I don't mean poor, poor like poor, but average man, you can't send your child to the university because they will ask you for expensive handouts, expensive this one, expensive that one. Um, they will collect bribe this, they collect bribe that. But in Ghana, you will see all of them going to school. All of them going to school, university. All of them. I'm almost surprised. You will just see my friends, they will say, ah, I'm going to school, I have class, I have class. I was like, wow. Are your parents that rich? No, they are not that rich. They made education easier for everybody. The poor and the rich. Everybody. Education is very easy. Can you beat that? I don't know. I don't know. Our country should work on yourself. They should just work on yourself so that everything will be good like Ghana. You understand? Are you talking about the more? As in, you're looking for something. It's very easy for you to find. It's very, very easy for you to find. I don't just know. I just need to make this little video. As in, I'm just reacting to video that I saw on um, on YouTube. So I just say, let me just come and make my own and just react to the video. So, so please, if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share my video, and give it a thumbs up, and see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.